Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a review for a Puella Maggi Madoka Magica item. This time I am going to be reviewing the fabulous set of soul gems from the Rebellion movie. This is a premium Bandai exclusive item that came out back in I think 2013 around the time Rebellion was on the movie theaters. So it took me a long time to find a set that was actually affordable and less than $100. And now I am going to show you how it looks like. Here is the box. It is really, really beautiful. It has these nice, very nice details. See if I can open it. And here they are. Oh my gosh, they look amazing. Here we can see the instructions. And here we have all the beautiful items. They are very nicely packed. They do not move around, which is great. And here they are outside of the plastic layers. I'm going to show you each one of them in detail. First we have Mami's Soul Gem. It is really beautiful. I think it looks a little bit too orangey, but the overall thing is very nice. The details are there. The color of the gold is very accurate. Here is the top. And the bottom is like this. I'm going to turn it on. You just have to take this section right here and twist it. And you can also remove the lid. Next we have Homura's Soul Gem, it is really beautiful. Next is Madoka. He has this beautiful pink. The details are basically the same, except this one. Next is Sayaka. Next we have Kyoko's. Now we have Homura again, but this version is the one that appears when Homura is starting to become a demon. A spoiler alert. I think this one is my favorite. The colors are incredible. And as you can see in here, 
it is broken and the details are exactly the same as the ones in the movie, which is really incredible. Here is a comparison and I think as you can see the differences like this is really really great like even in the base This one is something that you can actually add to this one. This is the one where she starts changing or writing the world again. It is very great. I think the details are just beyond amazing. And finally we have Homura's Dark Orb. This is Devil Homura's Soul Gem. I think this one is so beautiful and I really, really, really like it. And to turn this one on, you have to twist this section right here. Just let me show you the detail first really beautiful and here is a size comparison they are not too big however I do think they are very accurate in size this is the Proplica Crystal Star, in case you're wondering. I am back with my thoughts in these beautiful soul gems. First, I would like to start with the box. I usually don't talk too much about the boxes because I think a lot of you are more interested in the actual items, but I truly, truly love the design of this box. I think it looks very beautiful. First, the actual normal magical girl soul gem right here. This is Madoka's and I think they are so cute, so tiny, but they're not as fragile as I expected they were going to be. Like, look at this. They fit very well in my hand. I still think they need to be a little bit bigger, maybe a slightly bigger, but overall they are beautiful. My only complaint about this is the actual top. This one right here. Look at this. It is a very, very fragile plastic. I do not recommend giving this to a child or if you are not a careful person, you need to be very careful with this because it can break really fast. Homura's almost becoming a demon soul gem. I think the details in this one in specific are just beyond amazing. As you can see all the cracks right here like look at that like that if you compare it with the one in the movie like everything is in a perfect position and that's a really nice touch the colors are actually really vibrant and they're so creepy and I love it I love it I love it I don't know if you guys can see it but it comes with those three button like batteries I really don't know what type of batteries they use but you can actually change it which is great. Devil Homura's Dark Orb. I really like this one. I don't know why. I don't know why because it does not have as many details as this and I really love the soul gems but this one has just something elegant, evil and I am so so in love with it. My only complaint it is this thing right here for some reason it does not always turn on so I need to be like moving it around for a while until the light turns on. I think I think I pay 
a little bit over $50 from an auction, which is something that like just happened. And as soon as I saw it, I bought it because I knew that if I don't buy it, it was going to be a lot expensive in the future. This actual item, new in box, costs for around $170, $150, around that price, and it's just crazy. But you know what? These are really, really, really worth it. I think if you are able to get any type of soul gem, I recommend you to go for these ones because you have all the five magical girls, you have this one, you have the replacement for this one, and you also come with the dark orb, like, perfect. This is everything that you need to be a Puella Magi Madoka Magica fan. And yeah, I totally recommend it. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That's always very nice. If you have any kind of question, opinion, or concern about this amazing set please leave them all the questions in the comments below uh, don't forget to check more videos or reviews that i have done in the past for other puella magi madoka magica items and please subscribe for more so see you in my next video bye